And happening right now, two Sacramento hospitals dealing with a suspected Ebola case. One is cleaning up from possible exposure, while the other is treating the suspected patient. The patient initially arrived at Mercy General Hospital, but was then transferred to UC Davis Medical Center, which is a hospital designated to treat such cases. KCRA 3 has crews at both locations right now. We begin with David Beenick live at UC Davis Medical Center, where the patient is quarantined. Right, David? That's right, Lisa. Good afternoon. Hospital and health, government health officials have confirmed to KCRA 3 that this is a possible case of Ebola. And now they'll be doing testing here at the UC Davis Medical Center to try to confirm whether or not the patient is indeed effect, infected with the Ebola virus. It was about two hours ago that an ambulance brought the patient from Mercy General Hospital in East Sacramento to a non public entrance here at UC Davis Med Center. Crews were wearing protective clothing, including face masks and gloves. And after after the patient was taken inside, those crews began cleaning the equipment from inside the ambulance. UC Davis Medical Center says the patient is being kept in isolation and that its emergency department remains open to the public and patients. So far, health officials have not said if this patient is a man or a woman, nor how old the patient is. They have also not said what symptoms or factor led this patient to be considered at risk for having an Ebola. In a statement, the hospital did say this, that it is coordinating its response with the uh, Sacramento County Department of Public Health. Measures put in place to protect the health and safety of hospital workers and patients include extensive training on proper use of personal protective equipment and the establishment of a dedicated isolation room for treatment of suspected and confirmed Ebola patients. UC Davis Medical Center remains open and is continuing to operate as normal. UC Davis Medical Center was designated by the federal government last month as one of four hospitals in Northern California that is equipped to deal with possible and confirmed cases of Ebola. The other one in the Sacramento area is Kaiser South. The Sacramento County Health Department tells me that this particular patient is considered, quote, at low risk for or Ebola, but the health department couldn't immediately say what factors lead that de designation to be made. Live in Sacramento, David Bean, KCRA 3 News. All right, David, thank you very much. And here are some more pictures taken outside the UC Davis Medical Center earlier today. You can see the emergency response outside the hospital and all the medical personnel covered in protective clothing. This Ebola scare started at Mercy General Hospital in East Sacramento, and that's where KCRA 3 Sharkina Shams is live. And the ER Sharkina is still closed right now, correct? Yeah, Lisa, that's right. If you take a look behind me, what you're seeing immediately here is an open parking lot. At the end of that parking lot, the far end, you see those uh, construction trailers, and then it is just beyond that that you see the emergency room entrance here at Mercy General, and that's what I want to show you. Take a look at this video. Up close, you can see from earlier today a hospital worker in scrubs walking out this morning, and after that, we didn't see anyone walking in or out of those doors. Those doors are surrounded by yellow tape as the ER here at Mercy General remains closed at this hour. An employee told me earlier today that this area is under quarantine, but what we don't know is whether that means hospital staff are also under quarantine. A spokesperson for Mercy General said she could not answer that question. Here's what she was able to tell me. She said that the ER is closed because, quote, they are cleaning it. There are no further details about whether that cleaning is part of a typical procedure here after encountering a suspected Ebola patient or if it's something that Mercy General has decided to do just uh, because they're being extra cautious out here. What we do know is that they expect the ER to reopen sometime this afternoon, though they haven't given us an exact time, and they do emphasize the rest of the hospital is open. Live here in East Sacramento, I'm Sharkina Shams, KCRA 3 News. Sharkina, thank you for the update this afternoon. Dignity Health, meanwhile, released this statement today. It reads, quote, in coordination with the Public Health Department and the Centers for Disease Control, Mercy General Hospital has transferred a patient to UC Davis Medical Center, which is specifically equipped to care for patients suspected of having or diagnosed with Ebola as part of the Public Health Department's preparedness plan. We are proud of our caregivers and staff for the excellent care and compassion they showed to the patient and for their collaboration and attention to detail, end of quote.